If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 What's going on guys, AJ Good here at the House of Masks and today's video is another mask unboxing, a Slipknot mask unboxing to be exact. I just received a box today from Daniel Wright, aka Drop Bear Studios. If you guys would like to go check them out, I'm going to add their info down below. This is a mask that I've been wanting for a while, but I couldn't really pinpoint an accurate replica and Dan started sculpting one that I knew had potential and by the time that he had finished copies out there, I was already sold, so I went ahead and ordered one. This copy is a replica of what I saw last year year in 2016 in Cincinnati when Jay Weinberg VIP'd me and a couple of friends to go see them down there. And aside from the fact that I saw this copy in person, it really is probably the coolest version that I can think of. It's weird. It reminds me of like some jungle tribal weird shit between the hair and the weird tribally face paint designs that are going on. I don't know. It's, it's real weird. I like the way it looks. Doesn't look anything like a clown, but uh, I definitely dig the way that it looks. So let's go ahead and open it. Alright, we have a note first. Good day, AJ. I thought I would type out a letter as it would be easier to read than my handwriting. First off, I would like to congratulate you on the success of your House of Masks. I would also like to congratulate you on interviewing Corey Taylor. Myself being a veteran Slipknot fan and mask collector like yourself and knowing you as long as I have, it's great to see someone from the Slipknot mask community being able to interview the man that we in this hobby idolize and look up to. The wife and I watched your interview and found it quite entertaining. Hopefully you are able to do another interview on a Slipknot tour and dive more into the Slipknot mask subject. That being said, the reason you're reading this letter is because you contacted me about buying a gray chapter clown painted like the one used at the show that you attended. With the very little photos that we could find in the mask, I hope I have done it justice. I am happy to finally add a piece into the House of Masks and I hope you like it. I am also happy one of my masks gets its own fucking DVD. I've also added one of my Paul Volume 3 masks. Hell yeah, dude, you didn't have to do that. I wasn't sure if you had a Volume 3 Paul, but you can add it to your ever-growing collection. I know September and yourself like to add a bit of fun and humor into your DVDs, so I've added a small jar of Vegemite. You may have heard people's reactions to trying it, maybe not, but us Aussies love it, and most of us eat it daily. Now, normally when you eat it, it is spread very lightly over some buttered toast, but some, like my four-year-old daughter, eats it by the spoonful for the DVD and, and a laugh. Mostly for us Aussie viewers. Open the jar and put some on the tip of a teaspoon and you and September have a taste. But then seriously try it normally. Anyways, that's about it for the letter. I've tossed in some Drop Bear Studio stickers. They are vinyl and weather resistant so you can put them pretty much anywhere. I'll put them on my Subaru. You Aussies know about Subarus. If anyone is looking to buy my masks, they can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, at Drop Bear Studios, although I have been lacking on YouTube as of lately. I charge 145 USD for the .5 Clowns and 120 USD for the Volume 3 Pauls plus shipping. I make a few other masks also, so shoot me a message if interested in pricing on other masks. Sincerely, Drop Bear Studios. And I apologize if you guys hear anything. There's a crazy storm going on right now with all kinds of thunder and lightning and stuff. So if you hear any booms or sprinkling or whatever, that's what that is. But yes, Dan does make these to sell and I can tell you guys that the transaction was flawless. He updated me every single step of the way, and from the photos, it looks like he went above and beyond, and I'm super stoked to see it, so. First up, we've got some stickers. Definitely not lacking on the stickers. He sent a bunch of them. And we've got a cool little ghost pendant from what I think is like a metal hammer magnet. Yeah, metal hammer ghost keychain. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, here's the Vegemite. I'll have to go upstairs and make me and September try it together. I'm scared. I'm kind of scared, honestly. And here is the bad boy himself. Oh wait, there's masks inside. I'll pull these out before I show you the actual clown. Feels like a British female because it is a British female and it's got a police tape over the mouth and it's bleeding. Reminds me of something I did a long, long time ago on my first YouTube channel. Very, very cool. We got some Australian police signs in here now. Then we've got, I assume the volume three, Paul. Yes, yes sir. Gorgeous. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate this. I don't have a Volume 3 Paul, so this just knocks another Volume 3 mask out for me. And I've got some Volume 3 Chris's that are going to be done by Joey Fabulous here soon. I don't know when, whenever we get around to it. But here is the real piece. This is what the video is about. This is what I'm super fucking stoked on. It looks amazing. So I'll just go ahead, turn it around and let you guys take a look. 
Look at that, how ghostly and weird and tribally and fucking war painty and whatever else E you can think of. Got the big weird bun on top there. So sick, it, it's perfect. Like, there's something about the one that I saw and I know everybody says that, but most of the ones that he wore kind of fucking sucked. They were ridiculous looking and this one's cool, even with hair. There was not a lot of pictures of this that existed, but the ones that are out there are okay. Um, but they only show like one side of the face. I'll go ahead and show you some over here. But as you can see, he absolutely nailed it. It's super weird. It just looks like he took some smudges with face paint and put it on the front and stuff. And uh, I, I dig it for sure. And I can honestly say that these are hands down the most accurate .5 clowns out there. And now there's no contest with these. Like no one else has even comes close to this level of accuracy. And it just, it looks incredible. It looks really nice. So thank you very, very much, Dan. Unfortunately, since it's storming and raining, I cannot take this outside to show you guys, but I will set it here in the light and uh, give you guys an overall look at it and kind of get up close on some details and stuff. Hi guys, I think that is just about going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys would like to go pick something up from Daniel, like I said, I'm going to put all of his information down below. Super solid dude. He's good at what he does. I definitely appreciate the gifts. These things are killer. The Volume 3 Paul is amazing. I'm going to do a separate video on that for you. That way you guys can check that out too and see it all in depth and full detail and everything. And then I have a .5 Clown special video coming where I'm going to show all of my .5s together. So thank you very much. I love the clown. It is absolutely perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. And it looks fucking fantastic. Better than I even thought when I originally ordered it from you. So thank you very, very much. I can't say it enough. And like I said, hope that you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you later. It's called Vegemite B Vitamins for Vital... Vitality. Vitality. Oh, it looks like uh, Nutella. I thought it was going to be like... See, it smells bad. It smells disgusting. Okay, let me get a little spoon. I'm going to puke. It's like bread in a jar. <laughs> it does smell like bread, huh? Here. I hate bread. I love bread. I love bread. Get some. Get some! I got. Look what I got. You cheater. Oh my god, take my spoon. AJ, I don't want to throw up before bed. <laughs> you ready? No. <coughs> it's like baby formula. It's like baby formula.
They like that? You guys like that? Australian people like that? That's what it fucking tastes like. It tastes like bacon bits. It's like fucking weird, like, veggie version of meat stuff. It's like a protein substance. That's gross. That's disgusting. That's fucking nasty as fuck. Sorry, we don't like that. No.